In this video, we will see what precalculus teaches about number e. Number e is an irrational number whose value is approximately 2.718 and it is one of the most important constants in mathematics. Because this number is an irrational number, its digits are neither terminating nor repeating. Here below we have multiple rows of digits of number e and these digits will keep going indefinitely. Now, number e can be calculated using different methods. In one of these methods, e is defined as the value of the expression 1 plus 1 over n to the n's power when n approaches infinity. In the table below, we see how the value of this expression changes when n increases in value. In the first row, when we replace n with 1, then the value of the expression will be 2. But when we replace n with 2, the value of the expression is 2.25. From here, we see that the larger values we choose for n, the better approximations we get for number e. For example, when n is 1 billion, then the digits we see here are exactly the first digits of number e. Now, in the graph to the right, The red line represents the equation y equals e, and it is horizontal because e is a constant. And below, we see the graph of the equation y equals 1 plus 1 over n to the n's power. What we also see from the graph is that when n approaches infinity, this graph gets closer and closer to the graph of y equals e. Number e has a lot of applications in problems related to exponential growth and decay. For example, this number is used to calculate compound interest, and to be more specific, it is used to calculate continuously compounded interest. To the left, we have the formula for compound interest when the interest is compounded n times a year. The formula is A equals P times 1 plus R over N, to the n times t. In this formula, p represents the initial amount, r represents the annual interest rate, n is the number of compoundings per year, t is time in years, and a is the balance after t years. If the interest is compounded twice a year, then n equals 2, but if the interest is compounded monthly, then n equals 12. Now, what if the number of compounding periods increases infinitely? Then, to calculate the balance, we use the formula for continuously compounded interest. This formula is A equals P times E to the R times T. Number E is also called the natural base, and this number is the base for the natural exponential function f of x equals e to the x power. Here we have the graph of this function, and this function intersects the y-axis at 1 because when x equals 0, e to the 0 power equals 1. What is unique about this function is that its value at a certain point x is the same as the slope of the tangent line at the given point. For example, let's have a point on the graph with the coordinates x and y. Now, through this point, let's draw a tangent line. So here we have the tangent line, then the slope of this tangent line has the same value as the value of the function at this point. We can also say that the slope of the tangent line at this point is equal to 1 because this is the value of the function. Thank you for watching this video and please come back for more videos related to compound interest and applications involving the number E.